Shalu brothers and sisters, this message you are about to listen to was given by Saint Michael the Archangel to Las de Maria. But before we begin, I would like us to offer few prayers to Saint Michael. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I believe that your divine Son became man, died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. Because you have revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. Hail Mary, full of grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our guard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God. Thrust into hell, Satan and all evil spirit who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Message from Saint Michael to the people of God Saint Michael began, People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, These are times of uneasiness for humanity that waits without knowing that, although they deny it. This state flares up in faithless creatures who do not love and do not adore the sacrosanct Trinity. Beloved people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Almighty God, He who was, who is, and who is to come. Great is the divine power to redeem them from sin. In this generation, as in previous ones, disobedience has been the cause of great evils for mankind, man rebels against God, and man falls prey to his own inventions. We keep you before us, my legions are watching you every moment, and I invite you to be doers of the divine will. Decide now to seek salvation, and for this it is necessary that you be creatures of unwavering and firm faith, thirsty for the salvation of all humanity. What would become of the human creature without the Divine Presence? What will become of the human creature in front of his conscience? People of God, the core of the earth is being subjected unpredictably to the influence of the sun, the moon, and celestial bodies that travel through space prowling the orbit of the earth which affects the elements on earth, and the human creature suffers what it has not suffered before. At this time they must be wary of the sea, and be vigilant so that they are not at risk. The elements have changed and are rushing upon the earth to purify it. The earth will continue to shudder from its hotter core, and heat is rising to the surface. This leads to dormant volcanoes awakening, and active volcanoes increasing their activity, preventing several countries from using their flight paths. And human creatures will not be able to reach where they reside until new routes are re-established. The human creature is enjoying life as if nothing is happening at the moment. Disease plagues mankind and will continue to be present, mutating and with new diseases that will be prolonged. Some are spread from the air by misused science, and mankind is not aware of it. The human creature more and more distant from the Holy Trinity, and from our Queen and Mother, focuses on the pleasures of the world. Ignoring the signs and signals of this moment, leaving aside what heaven indicates. Europe will find itself in a dawning and will be babbled and all mankind will suffer as a result. 
God's children must educate themselves in what is coming for mankind. Loving God must not keep them in the ignorance in which most of God's people live. Instruct themselves so that they do not deny the undeniable and do not stray from the right path. Faith and reason do not contradict each other. They contradict each other when the human ego penetrates the mind of the human creature and keeps it in a constant debate between faith and reason. The human ego is strong in some creatures and manages to divert them from the path. Ah, people of God, you will witness the power of the elements that are agitated by the changes that the earth is undergoing from its core. Changes exerted by the influence of the sun, the moon and the asteroids that from where they are already influencing the alterations of the earth's magnetic field which contributes to the shaking of the tectonic faults on earth. People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, who will resist in the face of the coming changes? Those who do not waver or waver in professing the faith? Those who prepare themselves in faith and their trust in divine mercy is stronger because they have been partakers of the greatness of the Holy Trinity. Those will stand firm. This is the moment in which they must maintain confidence in the divine promises. Give thanks to the Lord for his love, for his wonders with the sons of Adam. For he has broken in pieces the gates of bronze and shattered the bars of iron. Fear not, you are children of the Most High. Do not fear and keep the faith. Pray for all mankind, pray. With my sword on high, I protect you. Michael the Archangel Brothers and sisters, that is the end of the message. This message was received by Luz de Maria on 30th January 2022. Brothers and sisters, let us continue to persevere and hope in the salvation of God let us continue in the habit of prayer for all of God's children. And also, please do good to share this message with your family and friends. God bless you all and see you in the next message.